93.6 Global Radio's return to El Dorado with Dave James. I'm joined in the studio today by one of El Dorado's younger stars, Maria Sanchez. It's great to meet you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here with you today. It is so good to see you after all these years on TV. Oh, yes. 25 years. So many years. Yes, yes, yes. So many years. 25. You were 16 or 17 when you filmed Elderada? 16. 16. How did you get involved with it? Right. My best friend, Rocio, told me that um, uh, there was an audition at the high school where I was studying my A-level. And um, I went there, um, I had a quick chat with a lady, I kind of remember her name. And um, after that, maybe, um, I don't remember, a week or so, I received a phone call and um, I had an appointment, uh, a meeting with uh, Julia Smith. I, don't, I didn't really know who, who she was. But uh, after, uh, you know, pfft, 13, 15 minutes, uh, yes, you know, she, she was telling me what uh, El Dorado was about. It was a soap opera. It was going to be shooted here in Spain, that I didn't have to worry about my studies because I was going to have plenty of time to, to carry on with them. And, um, you know, I get the, 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 the cast, no, not the cast, how do you say that? Uh, the character. I, I became Maria, Maria, Maria Fernandez. Enjoy your lesson. Yes. Why not? When you hurt your ankle. I don't understand. No? I'm not listening to you. You're brushing. Brushing? What is brushing? Red. No, I'm not. I think it's time I take my daughter home now. It's all right. They're only talking. Oh, no. He knows. He's looking at me. Can you remember what you had to do in your audition to get the part? Nothing really, because I knew they were looking for a typical Spanish girl. And I was, you know, dark hair, brown eyes. And they wanted uh, her to be able to express in English. Had you done any acting before El Dorado? Well, in, uh, at school, at the high school, in, you know, local um, theatres, but nothing important, really. When you got the part in El Dorado, what was it like for your family and friends? Were they all very excited for you? Of course, mainly my mother, because she, she always wanted to, to become an actress. And she was very, very proud that, uh, you know, I could get her dream. So you mentioned already that you were at high school here on the Costa del yes, Sol. Which yes. school were you at? In Fuengirola. Okay. Yeah, in Fuengirola. So many of the, of the cast and crew, they had to move here. You were already here and established. Yes, yes, I was here. I used to live with my, with my family, my parents and my brothers in, in Fuengirola. Hmm. Did the others come to you for advice and, you know, what to do here and how to spend their time and things? Uh, no, 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 they did not. <laughs> they should have done. I would have done. <laughs> no, they didn't. So the filming schedule on El Dorado, I, I know Sandra and several others said it, it was very busy. Mm -hmm. um, when you weren't filming, what did you do with your time? Well, I study because I was preparing my A-level because I wanted to study a law degree. So I had um, a lot of hard work to do. So when I was not filming, I was studying. That must have been difficult, balancing work and study at that age. It was. It was quite, quite hard. I remember one day we were on set filming a uh, scene. I don't remember uh, what kind of scene, but I had an exam that day. So I was so stressed because I, I had to be at... I think I remember eight at my high school and it was like seven and, and it was very, 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 very nervous and it was, oh my God, I have to leave now. I started crying and we have to stop <laughs> shooting, you know, that day because it was impossible for me. Mm -hmm. Did the exam go well? Yes, I got into the university here in Malaga. Yes, I did. Fantastic. What did you study at university? A uh, law degree. That sounds hugely complicated and different from the world of an actress. In, in your mind, were you going to go into the law or did you always want to be an actress? At that age, you don't really know what you want to be. I mean, pff, I was just six, 16 years old. Pff, I, I didn't really knew what I wanted to become. Uh, if El Dorado has, you know, been on, 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 the, on, on the screen for more time, for longer. Uh, it would be a pleasure for me to be there. But um, how it stopped, uh, 
I decided to concentrate on all my effort to, to be put, you know, in my studies. There isn't much more to do, Marie. You may as well go. Well, tell Mr. Chelsea I'll leave him to me. If you're sure, I'm sure. Go on, go and enjoy yourself. Make the most of your holiday. No chance. I have to finish my school project before I go back. And they tell you these are the best days of your life? Thank you, Fix. No problem. Anytime. Do you remember your first day actually filming on the set? Mm, to be honest, uh, I don't. <laughs> I think it was on Cabo Pino Beach, but I'm not sure. I uh, don't. That was the first time we saw I, you in the I show. Th- yeah. I think so, mm-hmm. but I'm not sure. What should we do this afternoon then? Dinner in a minute. Mm, roast chicken and Yorkshire pudding. What is Yorkshire pudding? Well, mum and dad are addicted to them. They wait until it's night in the shade, then they pour steaming hot gravy over them and force feed us with them. I have to go to the tennis club. I have to go home. Oh, don't go yet. Uh, and Mars, I have to, to hurt my mother for lunch. See you later. Thanks. Must be your sparkling personality. You know, you're having a, a great old time on the beach. Was it like that when the cameras weren't filming? Of course, because we were all very young. It was a new experience, a very exciting experience. So of course, we were all delighted to be there. Of course, yes, 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 it was. Now, in the early episodes, I hope you don't mind me saying, Maria didn't really have a lot to do except for look pretty on the beach. <laughs> And then the character grew enormously. Mm -hmm. Did you have to push for that or was it something that happened naturally? It's something that happened naturally. I mean, there's nothing I could do about it. You know, I just was at home. I received my scripts and uh, I tried to do my best. I tried to rehearse a lot. I tried to practice English. But, um, you know, it it was only at the beginning because afterwards, I think um, uh, Maria Fernandez, had a very, very nice scenes with uh, Stella, with um, uh, any other characters, yes. Yeah, I mean, the scenes with, with the lady that played your mum, Stella. Stella, over yes. Over the pregnancy and everything yeah, else. Yeah, the abortion and all that issue, yes. yes, yes. Especially, I imagine, in, in Spain at the time, in 1992, that was a difficult subject to tackle. But yes, but, uh, you know, I mean, I was just 16 years old. I was not worried about all that. And it was just, oh, I've got to, to, to learn my lines. Let's go for it. And that's all. I was not worried about all that, you know. What's the matter, Mum? You've done it, haven't you? You've had the abortion! Yesterday afternoon. Maria. Maria! You were working with some very experienced actors, uh, obviously Stella, uh, mm-hmm, Frank Ray, mm-hmm. E-Care as well, mm-hmm. was, had done some films and some great mm-hmm. stuff. Were they very helpful to you? Very, very, a lot, you know, because um, we used to meet um, outside the set, uh, mainly with uh, Stella Maris, because he used to live in Fuengirola during the filming. And uh, we tried to, to get, um, every time we have a, a, we had a scene together, we tried to get together rehearsals, uh, all the uh, scripts and all the lines together. And uh, she helped me a lot, and Frank as well, yes. Action! Maria! Maria! Maria, come back here. No! Maria, you come when I tell you to come. The family on screen seemed very close. Off screen, you, you seem to have got on with them very well too. Yes, absolutely. I mean, Estela and Franco, they were like my, my second parents. Yes, and I, and I truly say it. Uh, Estela was a very important person for me and uh, Franco as well. I'm very sad that he passed away last year. It was a very, very sad um, situation for his family and for all his friends because he was a very, very nice person and uh, I really miss him. Flowers for the restaurant? Mama asked me to drop them off. Give them to Ingrid, will you? She also said, can you see the priest on your way home? About the flowers for the church? Oh, yes, of course. No problem. Is Mama all right? What makes you say that? Because she seemed a bit, a bit unhappy. All your mother can think right now is all the things she has to do for this blessing. I know, but she was still acting weird. <laughs> if you think this is weird, you wait until tomorrow morning. <laughs> do you keep in regular contact with anybody else who was on the show with you? Well, uh, 
there's Sandra, little beads. I have um, have some news about Iker. But uh, I used to, to be in touch with Franco because he stayed here in Mijas yeah. after El Dorado finished. So mainly with Franco, Franco Rey. Casting your mind back to your time on El Dorado, when you found out the show was going to finish, can you remember where you were? How did they break that news to you? I think it was Franco, uh, Franco Rey, who told me about the situation. Uh, uh, sad, very sad, of course, because as you told me before, my my character, uh, Maria Fernandez, was getting stronger and stronger. And uh, it was a pity. It was, you know, finished at that time because there was so much work to do with her. And um, it was a pity. It finished at that time. Yes, it was. One of the other characters who was part of your on-screen family, who a lot of people remember very fondly, was Abuela. Abuela, yes. What a wonderful character. What, what mm. was she like? Oh, she was so funny, always telling jokes. And she was a very, very special person. She was a very, you know, a strong character. And she was very, very nice. It was, um, she was from Fuengirola. She was very, very well known there. It was some, some kind of public, you know, uh, person. And it was great to, to, to share the, that time with her, yes. With hindsight, are you pleased that you were part of El Dorado? Of course, absolutely. It was an, an experience that changed my life for, for good. You did go out with him, though. <sighs> Look what happened. What did happen exactly? You know, he went too far. How far is too far? It's none of your business. I think it would do you good. With the right man. <laughs> and you think Blaris? No, the right man. So when I wanted to finish, you said that you went off to university, you studied mm-hmm. law. Yeah. Um, what have you been doing since? So, so many things. Whoa, I've been working as a, uh, as a waitress in different pubs in La Costa del Sol, uh, at a fashion shop, at a secretary in a tax advisor office. Uh, then I moved to Palma de Mallorca. I get my license to fly uh, like, um, yes, yeah, <laughs> like a flight attendant. Yes, and after that, I started working in a bank. And I've been there for uh, 10 or 11 years now. From a a personal point of view, um, do you have family now? Oh, yes, 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 yes. I've got a a little little girl, a baby girl. She's five and a half years now. And uh, it was a very nice experience for me, but hard at the same time. You know, because it's really, really, really hard to to raise <laughs> a baby, and and uh, it, it was a, a very a very nice experience for me. Yes. What, do you mind if I ask what she's called? Yes, her name is Eline. Oh. She she she's half Danish, okay. Spanish and Danish. Yes, Eline. How old will she be when you tell her that you used to be on the TV? But I think it was like two weeks ago. Yes. Yes, I think so, because uh, I think I show her a picture of me, uh, you know, on, 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 the, on the phone. Oh, mommy, that's you. Oh, what are you doing there? And I told her and she was very, very wow, shocked, like, say, oh, mommy was an actress. Yes, she's so nice. So nice. Can you remember the last time somebody stopped you and recognized you as Maria from El Dorado? I think it was like uh, one year and a half ago. I was with Franco Rey at the seafront in Fuengirola, you know, having a coffee. And an old lady approached us and, and said, oh, are you the uh, Familia Fernandez, the Fernandez family? And I was like, oh, oh yes, 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 we, we, we are. Oh, I used to, to watch El Dorado, uh, all the episodes, and oh, oof, I really, uh, uh, you know, like the, the soap. And it was, it was fun. It was uh, quite a lot. Bring those here, please. And you can clean them, yeah? <laughs> Already drinking, Dad? No, no, yes, 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 yes. Do you have a favorite memory that you could share with me from your time? filming El Dorado, something that really stands out for you. I remember one day I received um, a fan letter and he was uh, nine or ten years old and he wrote me that um, he used to pray every single night for me 
And I was like, oh, I was thrilled, really. Because, you know, the, the, the soap opera was shown abroad uh, in England. So I didn't really know how big this project was. No idea at all, you know. And it was like, um, you know, a very, very special uh, memory that I, I keep in my mind. Hmm. Well, Maria, thank you for sharing your memories with us today. I've really enjoyed chatting to you. Yeah, thanks you and uh, congratulations because you are doing a great job. Thank you. And <laughs> all these wonderful pictures and newspaper clippings which we've been showing in the background on your video as well. Um, it's really wonderful to see these and I'm delighted to see that you're doing so well. I'm going to change banks now. I'm going to be a customer at your <laughs> bank. <laughs> okay, I hope so. <laughs> thank you. Maria, thank you for coming in. I hope we'll see you soon. Yes, I hope so. 93.6 Global Radio's return to El Dorado with Dave James.